Hello, welcome back for a new video from Tor. And I'll be continuing on with Find the Keys, version 2 I call it. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter about the version number anyway. But at least I made some options. I haven't made option number 3, which is hard mode, hard mode. That's not been in um, it's not been coded yet. So, but I got easy mode and normal mode. And fortunately, or unfortunately, we can be cheating now. <laughs> I just made this cheating mode uh, for both of them. You will see what I mean quite soon, frankly. Yeah. So, first of all, should we start with uh, the normal mode just to uh, repeat uh, or watch the things we did? Uh, the previous time, which has been a few months back in time. <laughs> I don't even recall how f long that was ago, but yeah. I could find it out by going to my YouTube account, etc. Blah blah blah. Anyway, I will be linking to the previous video in my video description, so it doesn't really matter anyway. So let's start with normal mode. Here you see, I have chest 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6. 7 and 8. And what is the clue here for easy mode and normal mode? It will be a key and a rupee or coin or whatever you prefer to call it. <laughs> dollar. <laughs> it could be working as well because it's a dollar sign. <laughs> yeah, so there's either a key or a rupee. Uh, there is one key and one rupee or coin on each row just to make it clear. So it's 50% chance of either getting a key or a coin here. But what you want to find is all the keys and uh, I based this little minigame on the minigame from Ocarina of Time where you use the Lens of Truth to uh, fool the game. Cheating, be cheating. Yeah. So we have 50% times 50% times 50% times 50% uh, chance of winning uh, that makes it being 6.25 why is that so? because I said 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 and times by 100 to make it percent and that's 6.25% I forgot the have my calculator inside here. Oh. And so, let's check it out, shall we? First of all, I will now opening chest number 1, 3, 6, and 7. 1, 3, 6, and 7. 1 contains a key. Oh, yeah. Please use 1 to 8 to open a chest. So, if I try to open chest number 1 again, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't work. No, I can't open chest number one. Oh, it's already been opened. So, three, uh, six, and finally, we should be winning now by cheating. <laughs> you found all the four keys. Congratulations. You won the question, question, question medallion. You only had 6.25% chance of finding all four of them. Well done. Or you've been cheating <laughs> because I made this cheating mode right now just for testing though that is. Do you want to play again? I could type yes and then it says please choose either one of the following three difficulties. One for easy, two for normal or three for hard. So let's go on with easy mode shall we? There you see now uh, uh, as you remember, on normal mode, it was only sharps. A sharp is the same as a chest. You don't know what's inside the chest, but you know it's either a coin or a key or a rupee. <laughs> uh, so now, uh, at the easy mode, we know that chest number one and number four, because it's one, two, three, four. Number one and four, they have a key inside of them because they have been revealed. And you can see that it's correct also checking at the top there with the cheating for checking things out. So number 6 and number 8, that's the, the even numbers here, they should be containing a key. So what if I just press number 
Okay, first number one and number four. They are already already being opened. You can't open it, and you can't open that one either. Very good. So I made to made it to be clear. But you can actually right now open chest number two and three, and you will of course lose because they are having a coin or a rupee inside of them. So let's go for chest number six. Yay! It contains a key! <laughs> so there's a 50% chance at the very t last time now because we have found all the three first keys, or actually one out of two now. <laughs> uh, so either chest number seven on the left side here or chest number eight on the right side here should have a key inside of it. What if you type number seven? Then we will be losing! Chest number seven contains a rupee! You last. Do you want to play again? So time yes. One for easy mode. So we know that number two and three this time have a key inside of them instead of one and four actually. And uh, number six and seven. Both of them have a key now. So now seven has a key inside of it. Just by lucky. So you will open chest number six and chest number seven. And here. You found all the four keys. Well, actually, you found two of them, but yeah, that's a total of four keys. Congratulations! You won blah 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 the question marks medallion. You had 25% chance of finding all four of them. Well done. Do you want to play again? So, I think I did show you basically what I've been doing. Uh, most of it, at, le at least. <laughs> so, I won't be playing it anymore. Uh, and for the code, let's see if I can move this a little bit more to the side here. Very cool, yeah. I implemented some difficult uh, level here. That's the first time you play on the normal mode. Yay! Woohoo! And that's just for the if tests and what to do if this happens. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. So basically, that's what I've been doing: typing such things. And I made this. Yeah, for difficulty level number one, easy mode. I made this uh, function called open chest, which is already uh, above it. And no, no, sorry, below it. Open chest here. You go. I just made this for fun. It could be a void function instead of an int function, but yeah. But I was an int uh, parameter uh, for the function because that will be the chest you are opening. <laughs> and I could have typed. Uh, P wall minus one instead of using minus one below here. Uh, let's see, there. Very good. Instead of using wall minus one, minus one there and there. I could have typed it at the very beginning and just called it game well, game well here. And there's this count for each time you actually have found a key. The count will be continuing on. Uh, and you see, for the easy mode, there are two chests that will be that will, will be revealed. Indeed, they will be revealed. And that's number one of two and three of four. So that's the two counts. So you need two more keys. So this count to here, it actually tells whether you won the game or you're still playing it. Simple as that. And that works inside the uh, main function of the game here. Not one. Uh, for some reason the last function is <laughs> true. I should have been typing it a bit different, but uh, I need it to be true anyway. Yeah. So the last function goes if you have actually lost the game. Ooh, surprise, surprise of the year. So here we see difficult level number one, two, and three. And you can see I use the same text, except the numbers are different. 
when it comes to the percent of chance winning, winning chance. And if you want to play again, and if you want to play again, it will be going to the main function, to the top again. Which means, please choose either or the one, one of the three following difficulties. And then it goes up to this, uh, choose difficulty uh, level. Mm, one for easy, two for normal, three for hard. And you can see I'm using uh, string. I'm using string. Boom. Yeah. I'm using strings. And I prefer that. And sometimes either just converting by using I to A. I mean I to A, yeah. So. Yep, yeah. uh, oh, did I actually say I to A? Uh, yep, yeah, I to A. That's correct. So, be talking to you later on. Take care. Goodbye.